Snakes are one of the most common phobias in the world, and with good reason, they can be seriously dangerous. The wriggling monsters in this video will strike fear into the heart of even the biggest snake lover. And if you're already scared of snakes, brace yourself. This video is gonna be a tsunami of horror. These are 20 terrifying snakes that will probably kill you. Number 20. Gaboon Viper Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the Gaboon Viper, the bad boy of the snake world. This sneaky snake resides in the tropical rainforests and savannas of sub-Saharan Africa, and boy does it know how to blend in. With its intricate patterns and colors that mimic the forest floor, this viper can go undetected by even the most keen-eyed prey. This snake is not to be messed with. With fangs up to two inches long and enough venom to take down an elephant, the Gaboon Viper is one of the most dangerous snakes on this planet. In fact, it holds the title for the longest snake fangs in the world. And not only that, but they are also the largest vipers in Africa, weighing more than 45 pounds and reaching lengths of more than 6 feet. If you happen to come across this lethal creature, consider yourself warned. One bite from the Gaboon Viper and you'll be in for a world of hurt. Its venom is powerful enough to cause internal bleeding, kidney failure and even death. So if you're planning a visit to Sub-Saharan Africa, make sure you keep your eyes peeled and your distance from this viper. If you can see this sneaky serpent slithering in your direction, run as fast as you can, or you might just find yourself on the wrong side of its fangs. Oh, and make sure to subscribe and like the video, or a Gaboon Viper will wait under your bed and strike when you are asleep. Now, it's time for the odd topic. If looking at this thing doesn't make you empty your bowels in shock and horror, you're stronger than I. Even King Cobra is afraid of this snake killer. Because this giant python is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. Even though they are neither poisonous nor venomous, they can cause trouble the old-fashioned way. Sheer muscle. These colossal brutes are tough as nails and could probably squeeze the life out of anyone or anything, even someone as strong as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Are you tougher than him? No, of course not. So could one of these pythons kill you? Yes, they could. So if you see one, run. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. Number 19. Brown Forest Cobra The brown forest cobra, also known as Naja subfulva, is a snake species that will make you think twice before adventuring into the woods. These venomous creatures are found in Africa, specifically in the southern east region. They have a reputation for being one of the deadliest snakes on the continent, so if you happen to stumble across one, it's best to keep your distance. The brown forest cobra is easily distinguishable by its dark brown scales with a lighter underbelly. They can grow up to 8.8 .8 feet in length, which is quite a substantial size for a snake. These creatures are ambush predators and have excellent eyesight, so they can quickly strike their prey before they even know what hit them. The venom of the brown forest cobra is incredibly potent and can cause respiratory failure, paralysis, and death. If you happen to be bitten by one of these creatures, it's essential to seek medical attention immediately, as the venom can cause severe damage to your body. In fact, this species is responsible for many human fatalities in Africa, making them one of the most dangerous animals on the continent. In other words, the brown forest cobra is a lethal predator that you don't want to mess with. Number 18. Saw Scaled Viper This slithery creature is no joke. It inhabits arid regions and dry savannas north of the equator across Africa, Arabia, and southwestern Asia to India and Sri Lanka. 
by packing a stout body with a pear-shaped head that is distinct from the neck, vertically elliptical pupils, rough and strongly keeled scales, and a short thin tail. Adults range in length from one to three feet. They come in various shades of brown, grey, or orange with darker dorsal blotches and lateral spots. When the sun goes down, it's game on for these nocturnal creatures. They feast on mammals, birds, snakes, lizards, amphibians, and invertebrae such as scorpions and centipedes. But don't let their small size fool you. These vipers are highly irritable, aggressive, and their venom is lethal. When threatened, they move slowly with the body looped into S-shaped folds while rubbing their oblique scales together to produce a hissing sound. It's a defensive alarm used to warn potential predators, but let's be real. You don't want to mess with these snakes. If you're unfortunate enough to get bitten, mortality rates are high. In fact, in the regions where they occur, it is believed that saw-scaled vipers are responsible for more human deaths than all other snake species combined. So next time you see a saw-scaled viper, run. If you appreciate being alive, that is. Number 17, Yellow Anaconda. The yellow anaconda is a seriously massive snake that can grow up to 13 feet long and weigh over 100 pounds. With females being significantly larger than males, these slithery giants are found in the tropical regions and swamps of South America, including countries such as Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. With their smooth, shiny yellow and brown scales and distinctive black markings, they're one of the most beautiful snakes in the world. But don't let their good looks fool you, as they are powerful constrictors that use their thick, muscular killer bodies to wrap around their prey and squeeze the life out of them. And we mean that literally. Being constrictor snakes, they kill their prey by suffocation, squeezing their victims so tight that they can't breathe. And by doing so, they break every single one of their victims' bones one by one. Not a very peaceful way to go. And while they're not venomous, they're still a formidable predator that can easily overpower their prey with sheer strength alone. If you happen to come across one of these giant snakes in the wild, be very careful not to provoke them, as they are known to be aggressive when threatened. While they're not typically considered a danger to humans, they could still pose a threat to those who get too close. So it's best to just admire these majestic creatures from a safe distance. Number 16, Both Rops Asper. Bothrops asper is a venomous snake found in the tropical lowlands of Central and South America east of the Andes. They typically inhabit low to moderate elevation regions and can be found in various habitats such as forests, grasslands, and even farmlands. This reptile is a strikingly beautiful snake with a dark brown, almost black body covered in diamond-shaped markings that vary in color from light brown to tan. They are also known for their distinctive triangular-shaped head and large, sharp fangs. The particular pattern gives them an uncanny ability to camouflage and blend in with their surroundings, making them extremely difficult to spot for both prey and predators. The venom of the Bothrops Asper is potent and deadly. It primarily attacks the blood vessels, causing internal bleeding and damage or death of the surrounding tissue known as necrosis. The venom also affects the nervous system, causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and even death. The Bothrops Asper is highly dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. The best way to avoid being bitten is to keep safe distance from them and avoid walking in areas where they are commonly found. Remember when it comes to the Bothrops Asper, it's better to be safe than sorry. Number 15, Bitis Nasicornis. Hold on to your hats, folks, because we're about to talk about the Bitis Nasicornis, also known as the Butterfly Viper, Rhinoceros Viper, or River Jack. It's easy to see why it's been nicknamed Rhinoceros, due to its distinctive set of two or three horn-like scales on the end of its nose. This slithering stunner can be found in the lush forest of West and Central Africa. And let me tell you, it's not to be messed with. The Bitis Nasicornis is a large and in charge viper that can reach lengths of up to 42 inches. Females are especially big and bad, so watch out, fellas. 
Its gorgeous color pattern features blue or blue-green oblong markings with a lemon-yellow line down the center, enclosed within rhombic blotches of black. It's safe to say it's a stunner, but all it has in beauty, it also packs in danger. The Bitis nasocornis is venomous and has both neurotoxic and hematoxic venom, which can be deadly. However, because of its restricted geographic range, few bites have ever been recorded. It's primarily a nocturnal creature, hiding during during the day in leaf litter, around fallen trees or tangled roots. Its coloration makes it a master of disguise in the forest, but if you do happen to come across one, don't try to hold it by the tail. This snake has a prehensile appendage and it is a weapon. It can use it to fling itself upwards to strike. Number 14, Ipasurus Lavis. Ahoy mateys, let me tell you about the Olive Sea Snake, Ipisaurus Lavis, the pirate of the Indo-Pacific waters. Arr. <laughs> anyway, with a paddle-like tail and brownish and purple scales, this 3.2 foot long sea serpent is a force to be reckoned with. Watch out though, because in some cases, it could grow up to 6.5 feet long. While the snake is aggressive towards its prey, it usually steers clear of divers and larger creatures. However, don't provoke it, or you might find yourself walking the plank. Sharks and ospreys are the only ones brave enough to take on the olive sea snake, living on coral reefs, including the Great Barrier Reef and the northeastern Pacific Ocean. This sneaky sea creature hides in small coves or protective coral areas when it's not out hunting for crustaceans, fish, and fish eggs. And don't be fooled by its lack of limbs, this pirate packs a venomous punch. Its venom contains enzymes that break down prey from the inside out for easy digestion. Yikes. Oh, and did we mention that drop for drop, its venom is the most toxic sea snake venom out there? Yeah. On a funny twist, be particularly vigilant if you are a diver. Why, you may ask? Well, there have been many instances when divers have been approached by male sea snakes, mistaking them for female sea snakes during mating season. Dirty boys. Number 13. Hooked No Sea Snake. If you're out for a swim in the tropical Indo-Pacific, watch out for the most venomous sea snake around, the hooked-nosed sea snake. This slithery scoundrel is responsible for more than 50% of all sea snake bites. These sneaky snakes can be found lurking around the coasts and coastal islands of India and are among the most common of the 20 different types of sea snakes in the region. Their uniform dark grey colour above and whitish sides and lower parts make them blend in perfectly with the murky waters they call home. Home. But even though they have an unassuming appearance, hook-nosed sea snakes are both active and deadly, with the ability to dive up to 330 feet and stay submerged for up to 5 hours at a time. They're also equipped with special glands to eliminate excess salt, making them perfectly adapted to their oceanic environment. But beware, these sea serpents are not to be trifled with. They are notably aggressive, with some herpetologists describing them as cantankerous and savage. And with venom that packs a serious punch, only 1.5 milligrams is estimated to be enough to do you in. Their venom is made up of highly potent neurotoxins and myotoxins, making them responsible for up to 90% of all sea snake bite deaths, so unless you want to end up belly up, steer clear of the hook-nosed sea snake and its deadly bite. Number 12, Tropical Rattlesnake. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a spine-tingling tale of a notorious creature that roams the South American wilderness, Cratalus dorissus, also known as the tropical rattlesnake. With its highly venomous bite, this pit viper is the stuff of nightmares. Stretching up to almost 5 feet in length, and sometimes growing to a massive 6.2 feet, this slithery menace is the most widely distributed member of its genus. When the sun sets and darkness falls, the tropical rattlesnake comes out to play. And it's not just any old game, this critter means business. While usually not aggressive towards humans, it will strike if it feels threatened or cornered. And that's when things get dangerous.
These snakes have a taste for rodents, and they're not picky about where they find them. Whether it's in the savannah or semi-arid zones, the tropical rattlesnake is always on the hunt, and when it strikes, its venom will leave you reeling. With the presence of crotoxin and crotamine in its venom, a bite from this slithering beast can cause progressive paralysis. Imagine impaired vision or complete blindness, auditory disorders, ptosis, paralysis of the peripheral muscles, especially of the neck, which becomes so limp as to appear broken and eventually life-threatening respiratory paralysis. And if that's not enough, the neurotoxins can also damage your skeletal muscles and possibly your heart, causing aches, pain, and tenderness throughout your body. But after all that, acute renal failure is considered as the main cause of the mortality rate of causes without antivenom is 72% and 11% in cases with specific treatment, which means that even with an antivenom made for this particular venom, you are not sure to be out of the woods. Number 11. Mani Bandit Crate in the heart of Southeast Asia and China, there lurks a deadly predator, the many-banded crate, a black or bluish-black snake with strikingly creamy white bands across its body slithers through the marshy terrain of its homeland. Its smooth and glossy scales and distinct vertebral ridge makes it a sight to behold. But be warned, this nocturnal serpent is among the most venomous land snakes in the world. Though it may appear timid and placid during the day, the many-banded crate strikes fear into the hearts of its Pray at night. If you're lucky enough to spot this elusive creature, beware. Its venom is highly toxic and can cause systemic symptoms such as chest discomfort, limb weakness, and difficulty breathing. In severe cases, the venom can even cause death. But the most dangerous thing about this snake's bite is that you won't feel anything. At first, systemic symptoms occur one to six hours after being bitten, and by then it might be too late to counteract the effects of the venom. During the Vietnam War, American soldiers dubbed this deadly predator the two-step snake, as they believed its venom was potent enough to kill within just two steps. Of course, that is just a legend. However, you should always keep your distance from the many-banded crate, lest you fall victim to its deadly venom. Number 10. Northern Brown Snake the Australian wilderness is home to a killer unlike any other. Behold, the northern brown snake, a lightning-fast, highly venomous elapid that strikes fear into the hearts of even the bravest adventurers. Nicknamed Guada by the aboriginals, this slithering serpent is known to cautiously avoid confrontation, but make no mistake, corner it and you'll just see how deadly it can be. Its venom may not be the most potent in the brown snake genus, but it packs quite a punch with a high concentration that can spell a deadly fate for those who cross its path. In fact, the name Guada is a word meaning go the long way around in an aboriginal language. Consider this as valuable advice for those who come across the species in the wild. With its small, barely visible fangs, a northern brown snake bite can often go unnoticed, but the symptoms can be brutal. Headaches, nausea, and abdominal pain, and that's just the beginning. This venomous beast knows no mercy and can lead to severe coagulopathy and kidney damage. Even our furry friends aren't safe, as the poison can induce paralysis in our dear pets. So be warned, dear adventurer, when trekking through the Australian outback, keep an eye out for the northern brown snake and give it a wide birth, or prepare to face the consequences of crossing paths with this infamous killer. Number 9. Mulga Snake in the land down under, danger lurks in the form of the notorious mulga snake. Accounting for 4% of snake bite attacks from 2005 to 2015 in the continent, the slithering serpents strike fear into the hearts of Australians far and wide. But fear not, for with no recorded deaths since 1969, it seems as though the mulga's bite isn't quite as deadly as it once was. Ah, but don't let your guard down just yet. In 1969, a young man from Three Springs, Western Australia, found himself in a grave situation. Reaching for a pack of cigarettes under his bed, he was bitten by a mulga snake. 
Despite receiving anti-venom injections twice a day for two days, and the man tragically passed away in just 37 hours. But as they say, every cloud has a silver lining. This tragic incident led to the introduction of the Paupan Black Snake Anti-Venom, which has since been used for the treatment of Mulga Snake Envenomation. And while the Mulga Snake may be a force to be reckoned with, its shimmering black scales bring forth a striking visual, two-toned and reticulated along its back, sides and tail, contrasting with the creamy, salmon-covered belly adorned with scattered orange blotches. As for its temperament, it seems to vary based on its locality. In the southern regions, it is a shy and peaceful creature, but up north, it is excitable and feisty, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Weird, huh? Number 8. Puff Adder in the wilds of Africa, beware the Puff Adder, a vicious and heavily built serpent with a triangular head and nostrils that point straight up to the sky. Its scales are a yellow-brown hue, with menacing black chevrons on the back and bars on the tail that scream danger from afar. It's no wonder this snake is a master of camouflage, blending in with piles of leaves like a ninja in the night. The Puff Adder is quick to strike and aggressive to a fault, attacking with little to no warning whatsoever, and when it feels feels threatened, it inflates itself like an oversized balloon and hisses like a demon from the depths of hell. That hissing sound is your cue to back away slowly and respect the Puff Adder's territory. Its venom is psychotoxic, causing swelling, pain, blisters and tissue damage, so it's vital to seek medical help immediately if bitten. Make no mistake, a bite from the Puff Adder can be deadly. Its front fangs are the ultimate weapons of destruction, capable of causing a deep venomous penetration that takes no prisoners. While fatalities are rare, it's always best to give the Puff Adder a wide berth and respect its lethal power. The Puff Adder is responsible for more bites and fatalities in Africa than any other snake due to its habit of not moving away from approaching footsteps. Instead, it stays hidden and then attacks with lightning fast speed. Number 7. Coastal Taipan in the wilds of Australia and New Guinea, the coastal taipan reigns supreme as one of the deadliest predators on land. Reaching lengths of up to 9.5 feet, the coastal taipan is the second longest venomous snake in Australia. With a light olive or reddish-brown upper body and paler underparts, it may seem unassuming at first glance, but make no mistake, this predator is fierce. Found in a variety of habitats, from forests to sugarcane fields, the coastal taipan primarily hunts small mammals but will take down birds if the opportunity arises. Its venom is a potent mix of neurotoxins and coagulants, making it the third most venomous terrestrial snake in the world. After the inland taipan and eastern brown snake. As if that wasn't enough, the coastal taipan has a reputation for being highly aggressive if provoked. It may avoid confrontation at first, but if cornered or threatened, it will strike with terrifying speed and precision. Snake handlers unanimously agree. The coastal taipan is not to be trifled with. Its bites can lead to descending flaccid paralysis, which can be fatal if left untreated. So if you're ever in the vicinity of this slinky menace, keep your distance and don't take any chances. Number 6. Green Tree Python Ah, the green tree python, a magnificent creature that is as beautiful as it is deadly. Native to New Guinea, some islands in Indonesia, and the Cape York Peninsula in Australia, this striking species is a sight to behold with its bright green scales and impressive size. At up to 6.6 .6 feet in total length and weighing in at 3.5 pounds, these snakes are not to be messed with, especially the females, who are slightly larger and heavier than their male counterparts. Living high up in the trees, the green tree python spends its days hunting and devouring small reptiles and mammals. With its prehensile tail, it can hold onto branches while striking out from an S-shaped position and constructing its prey. Some wild specimens have even been seen wrapped around the base of small tree trunks, lying in wait for unsuspecting ground mammals to come by. Unfortunately, and despite its protected status, the green tree python has fallen victim to large-scale smuggling of wild-caught snakes in Indonesia. Even wildlife breeding farms have been used as conduits to funnel 
smuggle these magnificent creatures out of the country, despite the import, export, and trade of wild-caught animals being illegal. But let it be known that the Green Tree Python is a resilient creature, protected by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. It may be hunted and smuggled, but it will hopefully never lose its place in the wild. Number 5. Common Death Adder this snake might be called common, but there is nothing common about it. Behold the fearsome common death adder, a venomous serpent native to the wilds of Australia. Despite its stocky build and viper-like resemblance, the common death adder is no ordinary snake. With the fastest striking speed of any snake on Earth, it lies in wait for unsuspecting prey, using its worm-like tail to lure in frogs, lizards, and even small animals. Don't let its nonchalant demeanor fool you. A single bite from this creature could mean certain death. The venom it injects can cause paralysis, leading to a torturous six-hour existence before the sweet release of death. Yet, even for this deadly predator, there is a nemesis that threatens to bring about its downfall. The ongoing invasion of Australian cane toads has thrown the delicate ecosystem into chaos, and the common death adder is suffering the consequences. As the toads' toxic properties wreak havoc on local reptiles, the common death adder's numbers are plummeting. Once a feared predator, the common death adder is now an endangered species. Its tactics for luring prey have unwittingly attracted the very beast that seeks to bring about its downfall. Let us mourn the loss of this once mighty predator, for its fate serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of nature. Number 4. Black Mamba Behold the Black Mamba, the most dreaded snake in all of Africa. This serpent is classified by the World Health Organization as a snake of medical importance. That should tell you enough about how dangerous it is. The Black Mamba is the second longest venomous snake in the world, after the King Cobra. It can grow up to 9.8 feet in length, with some reports claiming specimens of 14 to 15 feet. Its skin color ranges from gray to dark brown, and juveniles tend to be paler than adults. This species is both territorial and arboreal, living in savannas, woodlands, rocky slopes, and dense forests. It's diurnal and preys on birds and small mammals. The black mamba moves at incredible speeds of up to 10 miles per hour for short distances, and adult black mambas have few natural predators. But despite its fearsome reputation, the black mamba only attacks humans if it feels threatened or cornered. When that happens, it displays its inky black mouth, spreads its narrow neck flap, and sometimes hisses. It strikes at considerable range and delivers a series of bites in rapid succession. Its venom is primarily composed of neurotoxins that often induce symptoms within 10 minutes, which can be fatal if left untreated. Number 3. Mojave Green Rattlesnake Known as the most venomous snake in the area, the Mojave Rattlesnake is a fierce predator that strikes fear into the hearts of many. Its venom packs a punch, containing potent neurotoxins that attack the nervous system and hematoxins that attack the blood. You definitely don't want to mess with this one. This snake is typically found in arid habitats and prefer the desert flatlands with sparse vegetation. They come in at an average length of 2 to 4 feet and are most active during the night and cooler hours of twilight from April to September. But don't be fooled by their size. These snakes are highly venomous and can be lethal. However, as scary as they are, these rattlesnakes won't attack unless provoked. They typically use their rattle to warn larger animals and humans to keep their distance. And if you ignore their warning? Well, that's when things can get dicey. Symptoms from a bite can range from mild pain and swelling to severe vision problems and difficulty speaking, and in some cases, the symptoms may not show up immediately, leaving the victim unaware of the danger they are in. Did you know that during the pandemic, planes were grounded, and many Mojave green rattlesnakes took up temporary residence in these dormant planes? Some food for thought next time you go on a trip. Number 2. Cuban Boa 
The island of Cuba is not just home to pristine beaches and stunning landscapes, but also to the largest predator the nation has to offer, the Cuban boa. Locals call it the Maja de Santa Maria, and this slithering behemoth can grow up to a whopping 21 feet long, making it one of the largest snakes in the world. As an active nocturnal hunter, this snake is known for its versatility in hunting. You can find it lurking in tree holes, caves, and even in the trees themselves. However, it has a particular fondness for bats, and that's why you'll often find it taking refuge in caves. In fact, a study in 2017 reveals that this species of snake hunts cooperatively. Researchers observed snakes living near bat caves, waiting 10 to 60 minutes ahead of the mass entrance or exit to grab their prey. Its vertical pupils and extra row of scales separating its eyes from the tip give it a unique look. Its razor-sharp teeth in the upper and lower jaw point towards the back of its throat, lower jaw point towards the back of its throat, making it a formidable predator. Its preferred method of hunting bats is to grab them mid-air and quickly wrap its coils around them, listening for the heartbeat to stop before swallowing them whole. Yikes! Number 1. Atheris Hispida no, this is not a dragon, we swear. It's only the most striking looking snake in the whole world. Get ready to meet the bristliest viper you've ever seen, the Atheris hispida. Found only in Central Africa, this species has dorsal scales so keened that they could double as a hairbrush. While the females are curvy and voluptuous, the males are lean and mean. They grow up to 29 inches in length. But don't be fooled by their smallness, because these vipers are a deadly threat. They're mostly nocturnal and love to climb reeds and stalks, often basking on top of flowers and terminal leaves. And their venom? Well, it's a nasty cocktail of neurotoxins, cytotoxins, and fascicillins that can be fatal to humans without proper first aid and anti-venom. Until recently, people thought their venom wasn't as potent as other species, but boy were they wrong. Reports are pouring in of severe hemorrhaging of internal organs and other nasty symptoms from bites. So, if you see an Atheris hispida, stay far away and appreciate their beauty from a safe distance. As you can see, deadly snakes come in all sorts of shapes, colors, and sizes. But out of all these killer snakes, which one is your absolute favorite? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. We'll see you next time then, folks. This is Jake, the Voice Pass, signing off. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.